What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. Thanks for coming out. Today I'm smoking up some mud hen hash. Mud hen breastesses for hash. Yes, please. But what is mud hen? Mud hen is just a nickname for the American coot. The coot. We got ourselves a cooter. Cooter. Coot can sometimes be mistaken for duck. They kind of look like ducks, but as far as what family of bird they're in, they are a distant relative, if you will. They are essentially hens that inhabit wetlands and marshes, hence the nickname mud hen. There's your education for the day. Another fun fact, if you're a minor league baseball fan, the Toledo Mud Hens, baby, let's go. I actually used to have a Toledo Mud Hens hat, but my friend really liked it and the nickname, so I gave it to him. And uh, yeah, that would have been really clutch for this video, but price you pay for being a good friend. I feel like coot meat gets a bad rap from some people. I don't know why, personally. I think it's really good. You know, you don't have to eat it on its own. You mix it up with some vegetables and taters like this and put it in a hash, it's gonna be prime. So that being said, we have all of our stuff to get ready for our mud hen hash. So let's get started. Get a cup of gloves here. So our mud hen breasts, very thin. They're just little fellers. We're just gonna do something really simple, a really light marinade. I have some duck fat spray here. Really easy, a light coat just to go on the outside of a breast sieve. Add them to a bag. Spread them out. And then to this bag, we're gonna add a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. Nothing crazy, really simple. Gonna give a little bit of good acidity and some more fat to our mud hen. So we're gonna put this mud hen in the fridge, let it marinate for about two to four hours. You can go longer, you can go overnight, the longer the better, but I want some cooter in my mouth now. So I'm going to do it for about two hours. All right, all right, all right. Get my hands washed here. Flip over our cutting board for our vegetables. Get this out of the way. All right, so now we're going to prep the vegetables for our hash. Really simple. I just have some rustic taters, a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper, and an onion. Start with the taters. Chop them up. We're gonna slice and dice up our taters in the little squares. All right, so we're three taters in. I think I'm gonna go with another half, and that should do the trick. All right, and that should do it. Just some nice little cubes for your hash. Get a cast iron pan. Put in your taters. This will be easier. Get a little bit of olive oil, just a little drizzle over your taters. Mix them up. All right, grab your pan, put it to the side. Now get the rest of your vegetables, your bell peppers and onion, and dice them on up. Grab yourself another cast iron pan, put in your vegetables. Add in another drizzle of olive oil, mix them up. All right, we got our taters to the side, prepped and ready to go. We have our peppers and onions in a separate cast iron, prepped and ready to go. Once our mud hen has been marinating for two hours, we'll get all of our ingredients and go pop them in the smoker. All right, y'all, we're out here at the Gorilla Grill Silverback. We got it going at 250 degrees. 
I'm filling up the hopper with some hickory pellets from Bear Mountain Barbecue to fuel up this hash. We're putting everything right in the smoker for this first step. The taters in a cast iron, the peppers and onions in the cast iron, the mud hen breasts right on the rack. Then we're letting the smoker run for 45 minutes. We're not trying to fully cook all of our ingredients. We just want to get some good smoke flavor. So stick around and in 45 minutes, we'll come out and get to the next step. So we've been rolling for just under 45 minutes, about 40 minutes. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, everything is looking really, really good. Getting some tongs, mix up them taters. Vegetables too. Gonna get myself some gloves. What we're gonna do first is crank up our silverback to 450 degrees. And while she's climbing, we're gonna take off our peppers and onions. And we're also gonna take off our coop breasts. All right. Close it up. So we're gonna keep the taters in the smoker while it climbs to 450. And in the meantime, you don't have to cut up your breast, but I am gonna cut the breasts of our mud hen into quarters. Get the nap out of the way. Get a piece of foil. Put your coop in the foil. Get a little bit more of that balsamic vinegar. Wrap it up. So while we were prepping up our coop, our silverback hit 450. Throw in a couple slabs of butter, close it up. Now we're gonna let our taters cook for about 10 minutes. And when we hit 10 minutes, we'll mix all of our ingredients. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. Now we're gonna have some fun. Mix together all the ingredients for our hash. <laughs> Here we go. Got them taters in there. Start with some peppers and onions. Oh yeah. Get your coop. Dump it on in. Then I'm gonna add some bacon bomb seasoning. Some PS seasoning. Ah oh, yeah, you can add some thyme, some parsley. Any of that will do. Really good seasoning. Mix up all the ingredients in your hash. This is gonna be amazing. Mud hen hash on tap, folks. Hit it with some more seasoning, why not? Give it one last good mix. Oh, goodness. We're gonna close it up, keep it at 450 for another 10 minutes. Then we're gonna eat. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our mud hen hash is complete. This looks so good. It smells so good. I smell that coot, that balsamic, those peppers and onions. I cannot wait to dive into this. But first, let's recap what we did a little bit. So I just marinated our mud hen breast and a little bit of duck fat spray and balsamic vinegar for a couple hours in the fridge. Cut up our taters, put them in a skillet. Cut up our peppers and onions, put them in a skillet put everything in the smoker at 250 for just under 45 minutes. 
We took our peppers, onions, and our coop breasts out of the smoker, cut them breasts up in the quarters, cranked up the heat on the silverback, and just kept the taters in there and let them go for 10 minutes just before they got crispy. Then we combined the taters, the vegetables, and the coot into one skillet, added some bacon bomb seasoning from PS Seasoning, let it keep going at 450 for another 10 minutes. Again, finish it off with eggs, some fresh chives, add whatever you want, jalapenos, some more seasoning, salt and pepper, don't matter none. This looks really good. I'm done talking, so let's eat. You gotta try just some of that mud hen on its own, just the breast. Oh, that's good. Oh man, come on baby, give me a break. Oh, that, that's a good hash. I have no idea why Koo can get such a bad rap or flavor. Love the subtle gaminess to that mud hen. It is a really good bird. Then you got your egg, cut right in. Oh yeah, let it just ooze on out. Mix it up into your hash. Get a good another piece of that mud hen, some onions and peppers. Oh. Those potatoes are nice and crispy. And look, yeah, there are a lot of steps to this, I'll admit, but you could do it right on your stovetop. Where is the fun in that? You get some good smoke on your hash. It came together really nice. Everything that I'm looking for in the hash, one of the best ones I've ever had, seriously. People use corned beef, you use sausage, you use bacon, there's nothing wrong with that, but switch it up, some mud hen, some coot, come on. That's awesome, good stuff, good stuff. So look, if you can get your hand on some coot, don't toss it to the side, it's some good meat. Get your taters, get your veggies, put it in the smoker, make a good hash. You're gonna love it. Stay tuned for the next video. Cooter!